In Calm Amid Chaos, the program that teaches us how to live calmly in basically a changing world, there's something so exciting about not needing things to be the way we want them to be all the time, but actually going with the flow, allowing it, and still standing strong and living for what we want. For many of us, when something happens to us that's a surprise, that's nothing we anticipated, that maybe isn't something we actually want or encourage, like somebody gets sick that we care about, like a business that we're working in doesn't do well, or we lose our jobs, like we get ill when we thought we were healthy. So when that happens to us, most of us sort of go, oh, ooh, ah, we get really upset. Because we have no way that we could figure out how do you organize all these seemingly chaotic and unpredictable events around us so that we could sort of stand easy, we could actually stand relaxed, we could feel comfortable and calm, even in the face of what has the appearance of a storm all around us. One of the ways that we talk about creating an intelligent grid by which to organize the material that we're always attending to, that we're sort of seemingly almost bombarded with, is to create clear constructs to digest that material. I want to share one with you today. And that is the notion that change is continuous. I'm going to suggest that for most of us, we live under, I'm going to call it an illusion of permanence. Our body seems permanent. The building seems permanent. Oh, the mountain seems permanent. And yet, if you take a vantage point of the universe, the universe actually celebrates itself by constant change. Whether it's out in space where there are stars that basically are imploding and disappearing and new stars being birthed into existence, whether it's actually the erosion of a formation in a mountain or the building of a new mountain through a volcanic eruption, endlessly, endlessly, things keep changing. Now, why would it be if we notice the signature of the universe is change, and yet on some way we resist it? So I'm going to suggest that we entertain, at least in these moments, the idea that change is continuous. I was staying in San Francisco at a hotel in the downtown area. I was probably on the 30th, 30th floor, 32nd floor, and we arrived late at night. I'm laying in bed, and all of a sudden, I'm having the sense that the building is moving. And I'm thinking, oh, the building can't move. This is a big skyscraper. How could it be moving? So I immediately call down to the desk, and I say, I have the sensation the building is moving. And then the person at the desk, the front desk, starts to laugh. It's in the middle of the night. And she says, oh, yes, sir. The building is designed to move as part of earthquake protection. Uh -huh. When we resist change, imagine that building, and we then become inflexible, we then become brittle, and like that building in an earthquake, if it wasn't designed to move and change, it would basically break. So here's a suggestion. Really watch what's happening around us and notice that change is continuous. And rather than try to hold it back, Let's swim in the river. Not only let's swim in the river, let's notice as we're swimming in the river, we are the river. So, change is continuous. I'm excited about it. I let go into change. And by the way, if you let go into change, then you allow yourself to let go and embrace the change as well. So, think about that. And in Calm Amid Chaos, the program that teaches us how to live calmly in basically a changing world, there's something so exciting about not needing things to be the way we want them to be all the time, but actually going with the flow, allowing it, and still standing strong and living 
for what we want. Thank you, guys.